Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Associated Great. Back again with another video going over the Point Freelance. Got a tutorial for you guys. I've been using this offense for the last couple weeks and it's been absolutely money. And as always, I like to share things to help you guys win more games. That's just the kind of guy I am. So get ready. We get ready to go through the tutorial. But let's jump into some of the key features of the Point Freelance with number one being it can be triggered from multiple positions on the court. You have double screens that are gonna create mismatches for you. It benefits three point shooting and slashing, and it beats all types of defenses, man, zone, and off ball. As y'all know that off ball cheese, we're definitely gonna be beating that out there with this point freelance. So to do this, we're going into 2KU, gonna play a little scrimmage. I'm using the Los Angeles Lakers because they have a stretch four in Kuzma. But another team you can use and play now is the Jazz. I really like how they have those four that can shoot and slash. Conley, Ingles, Mitchell, and Bonjanovic. They're definitely pretty good players to be able to use for that. But remember to go down to your offensive settings to choose this freelance. You're going to go down, choose the point freelance, put it in one of those four slots. And once you have that there, it will be ready for you when you press the right D-pad to select your freelance. But let's go over the first options and that's gonna be the double screens. So you see I'm starting off with Rondo, I'm on the wing and on the right side of the court, we're getting some double screen action. Get an open shot with Kuzma that he knocks down. That's why we like that stretch four to be there. If you're playing my team or play now, having a stretch four will help. You don't have to, but it definitely helps. As you can see, we get that down screen from Anthony Davis and LeBron. If the center doesn't step up and help, because my man gets caught on that screen, I have an open look. And now if the center does step up and help, we're looking at that switch. That's why the double screen creates mismatches, because he would have switched over. Now Anthony Davis would have had Eric Gordon on him, and you know that will be barbecued chicken. Once again, running it, we get that double screen. Nothing was there, but they run it on the other side right away. It is a looping freelance, so don't have to worry about it stopping. It will continue to run based on what is happening on the court. This time we get the ball to Danny Green. We don't take the shot, but as you can see, Anthony Davis sets us another screen after I come off the down screen. Gives me a nice pick and roll so that I can get inside. So nothing's there after the down screen. LeBron's cutting under, nothing's there. Anthony Davis gives me a screen on the left side. Now we have a pick and roll action going towards the basket. Dump it off to Anthony Davis for the easy basket, and it should have been a foul but there's no reps in the scrimmage, so it's all good. All right, this time, same action. We got the pick and roll on the right side. This time, no shot after the down screen. Anthony Davis sets us a nice screen. We get a nice lane to the basket after the roll. Easy buckets, just how we like them. Coming down the court again, LeBron runs it. We get that double screen. Now notice, this time, if we don't pass it to the right and we go left, we get a ball screen. LeBron bricks the dunk. But you get the idea. Once again, we're going to do the same thing with Rondo. We're going to deny that pass to the right. We're not going to pass it because it was covered. Now we get a screen on the left side to take us into the lane. We get an easy layup with Rondo. That's the end of the double screen series. Now we're going to look at the options when you pass the ball to the corner. So when the ball is in the corner, as you can see, we get some ball movement going through the full branch of this option. Break it down on a replay. The first thing you're gonna see is LeBron's cutting inside towards the basket while Danny Green's getting a screen off ball. Actually, Kuzma gets getting a screen off ball from Anthony Davis. If you don't give the ball to either of them, Kuzma comes to set you a ball screen to get you into the lane for a pick and roll that you can dump off or take yourself for a layup. Again, now we're gonna show you that that backdoor cut by LeBron can actually be utilized for an easy pass inside for a dunk. Now let's look at the options from the high post, which is one of my favorite entry points here. You get the ball to your post player, Anthony Davis, and then the screen action still happens. He ends up going towards the other side after passing to set a double down screen for LeBron. Open shot outside again. Get that double down screen for Kuzma this time off of the post action so you can either post or kick it out. This time we choose to post spin, get into the lane. The defense helped. So we kick it out to LeBron for a corner three that he knocks down. Good shot by LeBron. This time we get it into Anthony Davis again. 
starting our post up. Could take the guy to the basket, but it's P.J. Tucker, so we end up just kicking it out to Danny Green. He's coming around the curl. He gets inside, throws it down. Now we're going to look at the elevator screen option from this same play or this same freelance. We get the double down screen. Nothing there. We kick it to the other side where Rondo is, and now LeBron's coming over those elevator double screen as you can see, we get it over to Danny Green. He has no shot. LeBron starts cutting. We get it to Rondo. There's the elevator screen. Eric Gordon gets caught. He's a little late to get out. And you don't want to be late to get out to the king. That's cash money. All right, now the last thing I want to show you guys is the options off of a missed shot or a turnover. So if you're playing good defense and you're making your opponent miss, when you have that fast break, What's going to happen is you're going to get a ball screen at the top of the key that's either going to get you a switch, get you into the lane, or set you back up to run the freelance how it should be. Right here, we get the switch, and we're obviously going to go to that because it's Anthony Davis with James Harden on him. That's going to be an easy bucket all day. But just pay attention to what's happening on the court on that fast break. You'll be able to get back into the freelance. But let's check out my team that I have right now. We're getting into my team mode now. I do have Kobe still, so I'm obviously going to be looking to have him coming off of those screens to take shots or slash to the basket. Shane Battier is going to be a spot-up shooter coming off of those, and so is Larry Bird. Sometimes I'll bring in Steve Francis to the court if I need somebody that can get to the basket better at my point guard position. And then obviously I have Chris Webber and Stoudemire who have those mid-range and three-point jump shots to be able to stretch the floor a little bit more. Um, when my centers or power forwards are actually the ones coming off of the screen. But at the same time, if I want to post up, I do want to bring Shaq into the game and have him, you know, controlling the post option. So there's different strategies you can use with your team. But let's get into some of the unlimited games I played using this freelance so you guys can see that it does work against different types of players. So right now we have an on ball defender against the on ball. Kobe Bryant's going to pop out, be able to hit those shots. On this play, we get to the ball to the corner. He starts chasing Stockton around. Battier cuts open free for a nice dunk off of that backdoor cut from the corner. This time, he's trying to stick with Steve Francis. He falls asleep. I notice it. I hit Francis off that backdoor cut. We get a layup. Even though it was contested, still get it to go down. All right, second game against another user. We hit Kobe. He comes off of that screen and notice that he backs up. Going towards the basket to try to stop the drive. I just stopped short, hit that fadeaway with Kobe. And now he ends up playing a 3-2 because he wasn't able to stop it with man-to-man. -man. And if you guys watch my How to Beat Zone Defense freelance tutorial, this is another one that puts your players in the right position against the 3-2. So I have somebody in the corner, then I have guys in the middle. And it really creates a situation where the defense has to cover multiple people with one defender. So we have open people all over the court. This is another great freelance for that. If you're looking to have a zone freelance, this is great. And I think it's best against the 3-2. Now we're playing against an off-ball defender. As you can see, he's trying to use his center to cut our passes off. So we're just going to dictate what we're going to do based on where he's going. As you can see, once again, he tries to cut off the pass to Sloan. I see it. So I dump it into Porzingis. Now what happens? I get a switch. What I'm going to do, not going to force it. I'm going to utilize that switch. Now I'm going to get an easy basket off of that just by playing patient and taking what the defense gives you. So you are going to play against different types of people and you're going to have to adapt to the type of defense that they bring to the game. Just don't get one dimensional. Before we end the video, I want to know who your favorite Evo card is currently. I'm really loving the Amethyst KG. I think that's a dope card. And I'm working on trying to get my Diamond Clyde Drexler. That is a tough card to evolve based on all the rebounds and steals you got to get. But I am going to do it. I do know that that new Terrence Ross that just came out is a beast. He goes up to Diamond. He dunks literally everything. He has a good three-point rating. And he has a pretty good defensive rating. I've been trying to snipe one. Maybe somebody lazily puts one up for 100K as a Diamond. But I don't think it's going to happen. Anyway, leave it in the comments, man. Who's your favorite Evo card at the moment? I appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.